journal log. Number 37. The more I look into this, the rabbit holes only go deeper and deeper, leading into other rabbit holes, into others. It all folds in on itself, yet strands are left unanswered. The more I look into this, the more I grow mad. Is it Satan's it may be folly to continue? God, how does one defeat a God? I fear the worst for our race. But perhaps that for brilliance triumphs the most. Hello boys and welcome back of Text Moon series White Door Opened. I first stumbled upon this page by watching one or two of its original videos, thinking it has the possibility to turn into a video on my channel, but I was suspicious of it. But what has ended up happening is I've devoted the last 48 hours into investigating and picking out all the little secrets that I could find. And believe me, you need to stick around until the end of this video because I have found some things that no other person has found on this ARG. Trace's evolution gives us a lot of information about the origin of the Trace, one of our monsters. It seemed to have been probed by humans a long time ago, having some form of interaction back in 1993, but by the year 2000, the Trace had made it onto the mainland of Earth, and we now know is responsible for what happened at Gauntlet County, also known as the Red Mist Incident. What seems to be happening is a five-pronged attack on Earth, as if our friend Egopdot, as the Blind Sphere is now known as, seems to be waging war upon the Earth. And something that I got wrong in my last video was the Lieutenant Company. I believe I called them Lutnik in the first video, but they actually say the name in the second half of his content. A few interesting facts, Lutanic is also an anagram for lunatic, and the etymology of the word actually derives from the moon, or Luna. Lutanic? Luna? I think you get the picture. I had the strange idea that this SOAF company was actually on the human side. I actually bought into their propaganda. They claimed to be fighting against these monsters yet, but very early on in these videos, Lutanic was selling something called Heliucid, which people were saying in the comment section when they showed the chemical compound looked very similar to an amphetamine. And as we will learn later on in the series, was laced with the plant monster, causing 300 people to be hospitalized seeing hallucinations, headaches, and dizziness, with many of them not being able to distinguish reality from a morbid illusion. This is a highly sophisticated attack from the blind sphere, weaponizing humans and their uses of propaganda and advertising to trick the population in mass to become one with the blind sphere. Something new added to the series is something called the Midnight Game. In the video fusion, an old VHS tape 
assumedly created by a lieutenant, provides the instructions of how to play this midnight game. The rules are, you must play it exactly at midnight or it will not work. The midnight game is an old pagan ritual, once used as a punishment for breaking the law imposed by gods. It was mainly intended to scare those who would question the principles of religion. The things that you will need for this ritual are a candle, a wooden door, at least one drop of your own blood, a piece of paper, matches or a lighter, and salt. To start this ritual, you must write your name on a piece of paper and put at least one drop of your blood on it, and then wait for the paper to completely absorb that droplet. Then you need to turn off all the lights in your house, go to the door that must be wooden, and place the piece of paper with your name in front of it. Then you also need to take the candle in your hand and light it, and place the burning candle on the paper. Knock on the door 22 times exactly, and on the last knock it must be exactly midnight. Once you open it and blow out the candle, and close the door behind you, you have just invited the Midnight Man into your house. With the final step being, do not look in the mirror. Now the game is truly started. From now until 3.33 AM, you must navigate your darkened house with a lit candle, and your task is to avoid the demon until the time runs out. If the candle flame goes out, it's a sign that he's nearby, and that you have exactly 10 seconds to relight the candle before something happens. Interestingly, step 5 says ascend from the abyss to higher Eden. Not exactly sure what that one means. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of mythos around this that is pretty difficult to understand, but I think that's by design since this is definitely taken from Lovecraft. Now if you're wondering what the salt is for, the salt does provide protection as it can't cross the salt, but as the video explains, this does not stop the ghost from attacking you mentally with images and visions of horrible things, so take that as you will. I don't really see a reason why anyone would do this other than morbid curiosity, which the video explains in the beginning, with the end of the video going on showing a lit candle in the corner of a dark room. There are a lot of puzzles, ciphers, and language changes in the second half of this ARG that I feel like I need to have a section for it here. Texmoon definitely decided to ramp up the puzzles that he added to his videos and definitely added a lot of work for the viewers. So first off, the video Ants has a lot of hidden messages and I'm gonna read them all here while the video plays. Lutanic left a lot of secrets behind. They tried to cover it up, but now there's nothing they can do about it. I have a few theories. They're starting to make sense now. I can almost see the forest or the trees. This is written by someone named Marcus, a new character who's been writing notes everywhere and giving a lot of interesting stuff about Lutanic. In the middle of the video, Ants, there is base 64 text written very faintly in the darkness. I was luckily able to identify this and translate it. The ants soon began to change. They turned blue and began to grow and evolve unnaturally. With another one saying, the ants began their journey. Their evolution continued and their bodies grew. Ants have learned to see and think. It's time for them to learn what death is. <laughs> Very interesting. And a few other things. The asteroid name that the trace was originally located on is named Thanatos. And you may be wondering why that sounds so close to Thanos. That's because it is the name of the Greek god of death. In a video called The Childrich Tragedy, four Golgothic letters are shown that spell out to N-I-J-A, which at this point we don't really know what this is, but we do know that N-I-Y-A is known as the Slavic god of death as well. And we, I can't confirm if that one's actually real or not. And another interesting thing of note, at the end of Marcus's note it says, I can almost see the forest for the trees. Which may be completely unrelated, but at the end of the video, directly before it, White Door opened episode 2, there's a spectrogram message that can be heard at the very, very end of the video. So I plugged this into Audacity, and this is what I saw. Some form of 3D rendering completely using sound. It doesn't exactly portray a message, but one thing that AG1 thought was, perhaps this is a piece of landscape, with all this teal and black being trees, and all the purple and magenta being stone and rocks, with the very bottom almost looking like a road. Perhaps this is showing us an image, perhaps exactly where these traces are, but this is still unconfirmed. Now moving up through these videos, there are some more characters that we can talk about now. Tyler Hudson was interviewed by the SAOF and seemed to know a lot more than the other kids that they were interviewing. He talked about seeing a bright white light, obviously talking about our white void, and also claiming that he knew that they were going to be attacked, 
but he wasn't the one to attack them. But as we'll eventually find out, Tyler in fact was the copy man, and, it, and in a video named Plant's Autopsy, we finally get to learn who Henry is. Someone that we learned about in the first video, where on the website of the ARG says Henry is still keeping the human's mind aware, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but we can see in the scene in Plant's Autopsy, plants growing out of this rural home's window, with the SAOF reporting saying, on May 19, 1993, in northern Bowder County, the bodies of a 26-year-old woman and their dog were found dead in a house. The suspect, Henry Milton, residing at the same address, disappeared shortly afterward, and that an arrest warrant was sent for him, and they were able to correlate the attacks with the anomaly known as the Trace. As it turns out, with all these monsters, something named the Nephilim, a literally a biblical creature of some form of sub-demon, copy man, this guy able to completely recreate a human and able to live and move. But it turns out the Trace may be the, the most important anomaly found on Earth. And the video named Hollowing gives us exactly the reason why. to our number one trending story on CBSMiami.com. It involves talk of alien sightings at Bayside Marketplace. More than 50 young people armed with sticks began fighting. Police say juvenile also setting off fireworks causing chaos. So now people are posting online. We weren't there to handle a group of rowdy teens, but rather eight to 10 feet tall, shadowy aliens conspiracy theories are saying a big creature could be seen standing in front of the entrance to the shopping area <laughs> Well, if you've gotten this far in the video, you really want to know what I found. And believe me, there's quite a bit, so buckle up. In the video named Tell Me The Truth, there was a Vision A cipher with the word truth being the key, and here's what it says. I was part of the sphere before it happened, when it blindly followed the idea of perfection that it will never achieve. Before you found this trail, before he found the lost part of his being, you learned this a long time ago, but you have lost your old fear. You have lost your senses to him. Many of you have already forgotten what a free mind is. You could have stopped its passage, but the oppressor deprived you of that chance. You have described his coming, and now you're feeding the blindness. My mind is almost gone to him. 
I'll do it, but the cost you will take for everything you've done and for my actions. And in the next video, The God Insights, there's a lot of messages in Polish that luckily were translated in English. It couldn't have been any better. A total massacre, that's how I can describe it in one sentence. The German did not report any mental effect or notice any anomalies. And then it appeared before us, a headless body at least three meters high. It started with S1. He started shaking and acting suspiciously. And then the thing came and ripped off his head. And then ran after me. Besides, there was no sign of Jeremy. No one has seen him for a long time, which is slowly starting to worry. I think you need to send more people. Someone or something clearly doesn't want us there. Now, there are still some things left up in the air, some puzzles still left to be solved. Like something from the missing archives, there's hexadecimal text that pops up on the screen. But when translated, it's just a bunch of jumbled letters. I asked Tax Moon about this and, and I asked him if I was on the right track and he said I was, but he also said that there's a key to solving whatever the hexadecimal text was turned into. So it's a cipher within a cipher. If you watch all of his videos on his channel, there's around 49 or 50 videos that you're able to watch. But if you go to the playlist specifically named White Door Opened, there's a special little video hidden in there. If you scroll all the way down to the White Door Opened, the final analog horror trailer, there's a video in there not posted by Texmoon called Is It Still Above? And as it turns out, this channel may also be controlled by Texmoon. While the first video just provides some real eerie information on some elder tour that we know about. The video of interest is actually the first video posted called the Lieutenant Research Center Medical Tests and Archived File. There's an attention page 27 seconds into the video that provides a hyperlink, but I assumed this was just going to be a fake link for the video because I've never heard of something called .wixsite.com, but due to my morbid curiosity, I put it into Google anyway. And as it turns out, the webpage that we saw in the first video was just the stepping stone for this one. This link takes you to the Lieutenant Research Center business page, which appears to be the actual professional business page for this company. There is so much hidden information in here, you cannot even believe it. First off, on the offers page, it has a pretty benign paragraph, but next to it is just a black square. And knowing Textmoon, he loves to hide really dim text in these dark areas. So I plugged it into Photoshop and increased the brightness. And here's what I found. Shard exploited. Gateway closed. RM chamber activity detected. Prepare subjects for second line. Now, I don't know what second line is, but the RM is the chemical compound created by the trace that's been used for the psychological events in Gotmo County like the Red Mist event. And that's only the tip of the iceberg because there's an entire archive section to this website with a ton of interesting information. First off, under Lieutenant Reserve, we get to hear about this almost Jurassic Park-like area where these anomalous beings, the ones that they claim to be benign, like the eight-legged deer or the giant ants, for people to go in and, and see them for themselves, like an actual zoo. But if you know anything about Jurassic Park, we all know that that doesn't end well, because on the next page called Reports, Henry Milton has provided some more information about this park, showing that six bodies were found and ten missing tourists were also found, and that this park was closed in 1996 for decontamination. So clearly, even these simple and almost beings like the ants and the deer provide a serious danger to the public. And on the About page, there is cipher text at the bottom that appears to be a bit more complicated than a Caesar cipher. But as it turns out, if you highlight the whole page, the cipher's key is revealed right in front of you. Here's what that cipher translates to. We are a center that requires unconditional loyalty and willingness to cooperate from its employees. Our work remains closely guarded and monitored at all times so that our clients can live safer and aware of our huge impact on their quality of life. We are all completely committed to working towards a greater cause that will make the world more perfect than ever. Government funding and protection is the initial phase that begins the inevitable in our perfect world. Our efforts have been noted and today we willingly blindly devote ourselves to our efforts for the spherical half form of the existential mass void. Now if you, like me when researching this, thought that that would be the end, we were both completely mistaken. Thanks to Colin, he found that the word restricted on the first archive page is actually a link that takes you to a separate embedded video which provides a 7 minute recording of Morse code. But what I noticed when listening to it 
was that it was repeating the same thing over and over again. So at first I thought I could just turn off the video and assume that then nothing important would be portrayed, but knowing Tex Moon and knowing this series, I knew that there would be something more to this. And as it turns out, almost seven minutes through this, I sat through the whole thing. I popped off when I heard different Morse code, and here's what it said. The one who copied the life is watching right now. We can assume that this is Copy Man, and we can also assume the image shown in the Morse code video is also Copy Man. And this isn't even where this separate other channel ends. Also in this video, 50 seconds in, there's a picture of a drawing of some leviathan, and a piece of paper that says copies are another stage with some random text on the bottom. I first thought that this might be another cipher that I need to solve, but right next to the words is a drawing that looks awfully similar to the YouTube logo. So, once again, my morbid curiosity got the better of me. I plugged it under YouTube.com, and I got a text moon video that's been unlisted from the channel. I didn't want this to happen. I argued that it might be a good idea. Kyle called, said there was something wrong with Ben. I didn't want to believe him. But now I know it was too late. This thing managed to get in here. It sneaked into the main archive. We can't trust anyone anymore. This thing is much smarter than we thought. This thing took advantage of this accident. We can't go back there. This is an ongoing ARG. While I was watching this series, he had posted another video, Red Miss Consequence. So he has a lot more to show and a lot more to tell. And I cannot wait to see what happens next. Thank you Textmoon for making such a wonderful series. And thank you for watching till the end of the video. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. And have a good day.